okay um we do so well on youtube even though my Egun's diary political on facebook has more followers but because facebook has limited over 80 percent of my followers on facebook they have limited their, their access to my Egun's diary political therefore if you see anything of my Egun's diary political that people react to they are just 20 percent of uh, over half a million uh, followers there but if uh, half of my followers on uh, facebook decide to just take a minute to go on youtube and follow my egun's diary or subscribe to my egun's diary political on face i mean on youtube that will improve or in fact it will it will called i mean quadruple what uh, we have on youtube i know you know we are not really safe with facebook so you can do that if you haven't already okay on uh, face i mean on youtube we have uh, a sizable number of uh, my friends there doing so well so um thank you very much so thank you for joining me from wherever you are watching from from th for those who knows about uh, the calamity befalling nigeria those who have knew about the calamity for so long and they did everything to stop it or prevent it. They were called names. They were attacked. Some of them lost their lives in the process of trying to convince you not to listen to the likes of a fake Pastor Ruga and Co. But here we are. Everybody is coming to time. When we said everybody, Loma J, breakfast, everybody will have their own breakfast. You see what is going on. There was a time I explained what uh, democratization of uh, uh, what do you call it? Impunity. Bokwari came and he used Takia to deceive Tifnumbu and Co. And many of them are still, they are now trapped in that deceit. They are ready to perish with that deceit. However, the Yoruba people, they dragged into it. Eh? We will not let, let them drag them into peril. So as they perish, we will save Yoruba land. The consequences of this is that everybody will have a share. I remember when I was telling people then that everybody will be affected. Let me tell you how messed up Nigeria is. For some of you who probably think we should be sitting down here and be giving you solution about Nigeria. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your, your what do you call it? You're wasting your lives thinking you have something that can be done to save Nigeria. No, you don't. And this is why. The system they have in Nigeria is a system designed to, uh, what do you call it? To make uh, the rest of you from the Southern Nigeria enslaved to the elite of Northern Nigeria. As long as the Northern Nigeria who practices a feudalism and then uh, our own Southern Nigeria who actually practices the elitism, as they put it, right? Now, the feudalists pretended to be well, socialists, because elitists be believe that uh, as they are rich, they have so much money. They know what the poor people want, so they can speak for the poor people. Meanwhile, they can still flaunt and, you know, live that flamboyant life from the money they stole from the people. That kind of elitism is what uh, the feudalist North needed to keep Nigeria won. As long as the elite in uh, in the southern Nigeria, well, be it Igbo, be it uh, Yoruba or what have you, as long as uh, they can control their people from maintaining the status quo, no development, no nothing. So the every penny that comes from that Southern Nigeria will then be used to fund Nigeria. And this is how they share it. The chunk of whatever they make in Nigeria go to the Northern Nigeria, who produces absolute nothing but terrorism. I am sorry if you are from the Northern Nigeria and this probably come out to you so wrong, right? But it is the truth. They have made you believe that you are building a country. If you have been building and building and building all this while, right? By now, the talk or the conversation around the breaking up will not be sort of uh, triggering you. It won't be making you feel like there must be war in order to peacefully say enough. We won't do this anymore. <clears throat> and the reason is simply because the elite in the North, or uh, well, the feudalists in the North, who believe that uh, they were supposed to feed the poor the elite in the South who believe that they can build, continue to lie to the South and make them feel like there's going to be this about one Nigeria and keep the secret away from their people to never, 
ever revolt. Now, the problem now is this. Hmm? When these elites who are now telling us that uh, Nigeria problem can be resolved, the reason why they are in public office is because they told you that they will resolve Nigeria problem. Nobody can resolve Nigeria problem. The consequences of them not being able to resolve it, yeah, has created even more problem, including this terrorism. But before terrorism, eh, these guys have created so much poverty that uh, the Almajuri, they call them in northern Nigeria, you will see them, the fine barras, the young, young boys and the young, young children who are supposed to be in school. When they talk about of school children in Nigeria, yes, the chunk of them are from northern Nigeria. But in southern Nigeria, we are, we are catching up gradually as well. Now, I, tell, I told them, I said, when you go around in southern Nigeria, a rich land that should be far better for the future of the children uh, who, who we are giving birth to now, Abby, many children go to bed hungry in southern Nigeria. Let's take it from there, okay? Many abandoned children, many, many of them who are presently living under different uh, homeless shelters or uh, under bridge here and there, nobody cares for them. Many people are busy how they are going to build the lives for their own family, for their own, uh, for themselves, secure some certain future as everybody loves, loves to put it. And I said, as much as Nigeria remain what it is, the system that produces those abandoned and ignored their children. For years, the children have been there. Many, many of them are the grown up who now carry arms and commit different crimes in every part of uh, what is called Southern Nigeria today. But meanwhile, while you are busy building your life and you continue to listen to the elite who are lying to you that Nigeria can remain the same, Nigeria is going to work, uh, something is going to happen, blah, 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 you were busy struggling, trying to at least put something together for your future. You see, those abandoned children, they are also going to grow to adult as well. And they will hate the society. These are, many, many of them are those who are around now. They are the time bomb that you are sitting on. The Fulani bandit, the Fulani terrorist that we, you are, we are dealing with today. They are the immediate problem. You see the grounded problem that this elite, they have brought upon the Yoruba land is that they have destroyed many, many of our children. Many, many of them have been converted because, well, they've destroyed them. They've then converted them into different street auctions, converted them into different political, uh, you know, uh, uh, destructive tools. You know why? Because that is the only thing that can keep them in power. Education, they say, is light in Yoruba land. Those who are parading themselves as Yoruba leaders today, past and present, eh, they destroyed education deliberately. It was deliberate. So as to produce a society that will not be so intelligent enough to know their left from their right, except what those elites tell them. Now, this elite led by Tifnumbu and Gang, who led Yorubas or made Yoruba believe that they are going into an alliance with the feudalist, the Sahel jihadist, promising them change, promising Yorubas development, promising Yorubas safety and security. Six years after that, eh, they are now singing the song of One Nigeria again, telling us that eh, we need to hope, we need to continue to pray. And I told you, now everybody, the thing will affect, including those who are parading themselves as political leaders in Yoruba land. Bokuari is the jihadist on one hand. The killer terrorists are on the and also waiting on the other hand. Now you see these two forces. They are the forces that are about to take us eh, to go to go go far. The Armageddon. That which is the consequences of those smart elites, especially in the last 22 years, the destiny of Yoruba, they claim to understand the, what Yoruba wanted, what the poor people wanted, they said. Now, we are among the poorest people in the world. Our children are among the jobless, I mean, I asked the jobless people in the whole world. Our people are now the most terrorized people, apart, I mean, man, uh, among the most terrorized people in the whole world. Now, we are now par, at par with the countries like uh, Iraq, Iran, Syria, Somalia is now winking at uh, Nigeria and this elite with their feudalist party or the feudalist uh, partner. Eh? They were telling you Nigeria is Nigeria cannot be divided. I said, don't worry. Even they, even you know, 
part of what they are using in southern Nigeria, not just in southern Nigeria, all over Nigeria, is that religion intimidating and threatening you that you cannot question the men of God. <clears throat> because number one, yes, they were, they, 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 they were, they were, they, so they are men first, and then they are, they are working for God because they can hear from one God somewhere. Then I remember coming on Mayegun's diary to tell all of you that number one thing that you have to shake off, off you completely. If you really, 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 really want to understand why Nigeria is what Nigeria is and why Nigeria defy all solution, you need to first detach yourself from the religious teachings that has to does Nigeria undertone. Because when you pay attention very well, eh, you will realize that the Nigerian uh, pastors, the Nigerian politicians, the Nigeria imam or cleric, sultan or sheikh, babalawo or whatever, when you pay attention to them very well, you will realize that they are all in the same WhatsApp group. Your Baba Gio, your Mama Gio, your Bishop, your Reverend, all of them. And you see that criminal politician that is bathing with human blood in order to gain power, all of them, they are in the same WhatsApp group. It is a chain of command. And I said, if you want to understand Nigeria very well, so that you won't find yourself in a depressive state, in a lunatic state, like the Buhari Dins and the Buhari Didaris, the Buhari Denotus and the Buhari Dijatus, the Buhari Shukus, the Ungos Diaris, the Unne Kaaris, the Unnam Diaris, the obedient fools, the sophisticated morons, and the humble slaves of this world, in order not to end up reasoning like them, even though you don't see yourself supporting Bokwari, but you love one Nigeria. Everything looks so fluid. Everything looks so kind of, they don't make any, it's like formless. No, they are not formless. There are things, there are factors that are influencing why you are still thinking Nigeria is still going to probably work. Part of those factors influencing that your decision unknowingly is, or is a useless faith that the Nigeria religion managed to indoctrinate you into. How? For you to know that they are all into the same WhatsApp group. Eh? When politicians, when they want to show to you that they actually know God for the first time in their lives, eh? you will see them in your Jumat. They will come and do Jumat prayer. Okay? You will see them. They will attend Jumat uh, preachings. You will see them. They will attend uh, Holy Ghost Conference or Holy Ghost Congress. You will see them. They will attend all your church launching. They will send money. They will quote Bible. They will tell you how they were raised, like you, as Christians. Their fathers was actually, I mean, his father, his mother, they were this and that. Now, the reason why they do that is because, number one, from childhood, eh, we were raised to believe that there is nothing God cannot do. Which is true for everyone who actually have faith. But here is how they are manipulating you. They have been manipulating you. And they have been using their churches. They have been using their Baba Gio. They have been using their different fake prophecies. They have been using different, different techniques to indoctrinate you. Why you, I mean, since when you are a baby. They have to take you to either church or they take you to mosque. And in the process, you get to know God. Therefore, you will believe that there is nothing God cannot do. Great. But you can tell the evil politicians who have promised and failed, Abby, great. Then you will go to church when you begin to understand the system and you begin to ask questions. When you are looking for answers, people that are called mentors, people that you can trust, talk to, are mostly, apart from your parents, are likely going to be the people who are where a religious role, a sort of a religious symbol in your family. It may be an affair. It may be a chief imam. It may be a pastor. It may be, you know what I mean? These people become people you can think of meeting or seeking advice from if you are that kind of person raised that way. 
Now, even if you don't really seek as, I mean, advice from them, when you begin to get worried, they will tell you when you go to church, they say, if you are looking for answers, pray to God. God will give you the answer to everything worrying you. Since you are raised to believe that there is nothing God cannot do. So that indoctrination then puts you into almost, I mean, put almost everything in that hand of God, if you can pray. The indoctrination is that every Sunday, Sunday, they take you to. And there is, among other teachings, so that actually built your faith, okay? But when you now pay attention to the political pastors, this is what they do. In order, because they know that the bad policies of government is the reason why your economy is bad. And when your economy is bad, of course, you will not have any good job. If you have any job at all, it won't really be a good paying job. And you have more people who are going to be in the bracket of uh, poverty level. So they will be hovering between poverty, out of poverty. The, if the economy feels good a bit, they will feel better. They will feel like, okay, I just changed my new TV. I just renovated my, my, my apartment because now things became better. So economy affects you, not because you can't pray. Not because you don't know God. Not because you no longer read your Bible. Not because you no longer pray five times a day. But when you go to this house of God, business centers, eh? when you walk in, you are confused. You have no idea why everything is not working. Your pastor is educated. Some of them know about accounting. Some of them know about, uh, you know, all things about economy. But... They won't talk about that. Because if they have to be honest, they will tell you why people graduated and they have no job. They will begin to analyze that for you using the opportunity that you are looking forward to them to guide you. So they can then use God to tell you how to make a change. Martin Luther King in, in America became so prominent, not because he could read the Bible, not because he wasn't hearing from God, but he knew then that Americans were educated. No matter how much disadvantaged the black Americans were, they were still educated. They could tell that, listen, leave God out of it. If you are talking about the most, most faithful evangelicals and all of that, you will see the black people there. Well, he realized that if he needs to engage and mobilize the black people to fight for what will affect them and change their life, change their future, he must never tell them that God will fight for them. You know what he did? He used every opportunity, he mounted an altar to tell the black folks that, listen, if you don't fight it, you will live like this, your children will live like this, just like your parents live like this. And he paid the supreme price, by the way, by using the pulpit for what it is meant to be. Even Jesus Christ, eh, when he saw people trading in the temple, eh, he became angry because the temple of God is not a business center, but this is how they turn it to business. And this is how they manipulate you. How? When you want to go and think about what is wrong, they will begin to tell you, the children of Israel, they suffered in uh, Egypt and they suffered for 40 years. They did this. They were praying. Some people, they tried to challenge some dictator. Back in the days, so, so because they've tried to challenge them, and the dictator has so much army and big army, so they started, they used it. He now prayed to God. God touched him, and he used a catapult, and he killed a giant, and that's how they won the war. Blah, 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 blah. How does that explain why there is no electricity in Nigeria? And we are in a church, and we want to pray for the enemy of Nigeria. They now take that opportunity to take your attention away from the problem. They start building things in your mind that makes you feel like you just need to pray more. So when you should indeed chase the animals that are forcing you into what you have become today, that's the indoctrination. No? So that is why. eh? When pastors say, I have prayed, and God told me that uh, the next person that will be president of Nigeria is going to change Nigeria, Nigeria is going to do this and that, 
God told me in Lefitiku, blah, blah, blah. I was sleeping and then, uh, you know, and blah, all those stuff, right? Then you begin to say, you will, be, you will see people writing it on social media. They will tell you, who am I to question God? Ah, do not touch my anointed. Eh? Do my pastor no harm. Blah, 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 things that they used to manipulate you to divert your attention from the problem. And I said, if you want to be my friend, if you want to understand the problem, if you want to join those who want to provide the solution, if you really want to join the army of enlightened people, who knows the problem? Not just talk about the problem. They have their solution and they can defend it. And that is why you should never attach religion to it. Uh, you see? When they wanted to deceive you in 2015, they said, vote for the general and think about the pastor. Bokwari will be fighting physical battle with terrorists. Pastor, fake pastor, Shumbade will be fighting spiritual battle with uh, the terrorists. At the physical battle, at, uh, I mean, at the uh, spiritual battle, everything don't enter the gay because they defrauded you. Now, are you not asking God, uh, where is God today? Nigeria is a place that will make you question that your God, that your faith. And when somebody is talking about those criminals who make you think God will do everything, we said, God will not fix road. God will not arrest terrorists. God will not, uh, you know, punish thieves. God will not build hospitals. God will not build schools. God will not, uh, in fact, uh, uh, build your farms. Then because they have used religion to manipulate so many people and they have become so moronic, they feel offended. You cannot say that. Let's watch what we say. I enjoy, I enjoy your program. I enjoy your discussion. But when we talk about God, please watch what you say. And you know when people say that to me, like immediately, the response I always have is that, if you and I your God, Cannot fix your life, fix Nigeria for 60 years. What makes you think I should be afraid of that your fake God? And I was, I analyzed that. Once you remove that Nigeria fake God, the God that will punish people for you since you are powerless, disabled, you are, you are what? You are uh, 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 invalid. You have no sense. You can't reason. You can't act. You are powerless. You need help. And the help you need is spiritual help. So he said, don't follow them. Don't believe them. You know what thing will happen? Everybody will be affected. As terrorists are killing and kidnapping Christians and Muslims and everybody, so they will be killing and kidnapping uh, uh, Yorubas, uh, Igbos, and Awusas and everybody. And your blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will not do anything to save you. Nigeria then became a place that people will pretend that they know that God. They are Baba Gio, they are Mama Gio. They are now like uh, the deputy God because they can hear from God right away. And most of what they actually hear from God is that if I tell you something, don't question it. If you question it, eh, you are questioning God and God can just destroy you for questioning. Ah, how can God that they say is love then destroy me? His own, his own son. How, why would he destroy me? Why would he make my life miserable? Because Adeboye says something. And I said, Adeboye is a liar. Why then would God punish me then? How come they say God is love? What kind, which kind of God is this? It is Nigerian God. And you should never be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of any Nigerian God, okay? Nigerian God is the God that they will tell you that you just have to be. And then... Uh, you just have to wait. And if you are questioning why you are waiting, if somebody tell you that, uh, like uh, Baba Adeboye told us then, that by the beginning of uh, 2020, there will be no single terrorist in Nigeria anymore if we can pray. And I believe people actually prayed. They did national prayer. Pastor pray. Woli pray. Afa pray. Baba Lawo pray. Oh. Mama Lawo even pray. Those who are even like uh, Baba Lawo, Sisi Lawo, everybody prayed. Instead of uh, Boko Haram to end, eh, they eventually uh, metamorphosed into different ones that we are now dealing with today. So if you now say, Baba, but you told us in your prophecy, then you will see the Voltrons, 
the religious uh, slaves, the brainwashed, uh, you know, indoctrinated morons, they will begin to ask you and tell you what God will. My friend, shut, we, my, you can wash your mouth. Some of them may be even, they may be typing it right now. So don't fight them, please. Don't fight them. Don't abuse them. Leave them. We are trying to heal them. And it is the truth like this that we heal them. Baba Adeboye that is hearing from God. Baba Akumuyi that is hear, hearing from God. All of them who are deputy God, eh, solicitor general for God on earth, they know the punishment that you will deserve. If you are not going to have it, they will say, oh, you are questioning man of God. Hmm, I feel sorry for you. Ah, Mayegun, I feel sorry for your life. Watch your mouth. You will see how, they, how, how God will just destroy your life. Hey, which kind of God be this so that will destroy my life? Because I, I want to ask Baba Adeboye, how come the prophecy no come to pass? They will say, Baba, don't say that, don't say that. I understand what you are trying to say, but, but don't say that. It is, it's not good because, you know, I love you. Mayegun, koni dafun, koni dafun love where? At the at love where Emma walk boni Emma blow down on it to understand the Yoruba. You and that your love, eh? Me of a lot to hell. Opi at to buy ye a benya, OTNC. Emma blow si boni at your TV. Your, your, what have you? I'm saying it just to let you know that we, I am not afraid of that. Your fake Nigeria God, it doesn't have anything, no power, no potency. It's a fraud. And the people who are milking you, making money from it, are going to be affected too. Hey, they will be affected. They will kidnap. I did not kidnap a bastard, bishop. I did not kidnap in. Uh, I told you a story. This story, eh, it may sound funny to you. It's not funny. Now, everybody, the, the thing Bokwari brought to Nigeria will affect. The story that uh, a politician that went to a Babalawo house, he wanted to go and do juju so that uh, uh, kidnappers. Boko Haram, bandits, they will not kidnap him, they will not attack him, the, the gods will protect him, and all of that. When he got to Baba's house, he met the Baba's family and the Baba's son outside crying. What happened? Baba died. He said, Baba no die. Oh. With the goat, he's walking in to come and give the, the oracle to protect him from kidnappers. The son approached him, sir, Senator, how are you, sir? Say, where is Baba? Say, ah. We were trying to call your number. You are not picking up. But you know what happened? They have kidnapped Baba. Ah, uh ah. -uh. How can anybody kidnap Baba? Ah, well, they kidnapped Baba last night too. Now we are negotiating with them. Ah, uh -uh. kidnap Baba. They kidnapped Baba inside the shrine here. Now inside there, in front of the gods. That's where they, kid they took Baba. Ah. Uh -uh. So what are the gods doing now? Well, everybody, they tried to raise money now to free Baba. Or else they say they will keep Baba by 12 o'clock tomorrow. That's why we're calling you, Senator. But I'm coming here to come and tell Baba that Nigeria is blowing up. Eh? Kidnappers everywhere. So that we can use our own tile tile and use her to, to protect ourselves. Because I know that police can I have policemen, I have DSS and all that. Is that why you is that why you brought the goat? Yes, I brought the goat and there's uh, some money so that we can do something. Uh, uh, Senator, we will need the money. But you can keep the goats because even the gods right now they are in bondage in the kidnappers den we need money to free them everybody will be affected you heard the story of uh rccg members they were going on a crusade or god mission in kaduna and the kidnappers took them you remember that story are you saying they don't know god won't this would these criminals make you question god won't you begin to say, ah, man, it's true, Sha. Your pastor will give you anchor chief, give you anointing oil, give you water, and he will tell you to tie this one on your tire and all of that. You will never be attacked. We see all of these things, though. I'm not saying that all of you have your faith, okay? Please don't mean to misunderstand this, all right? And if you misunderstand it, it means that uh, you just want to misunderstand it. And I don't care then, okay? But if you probably understand very well that uh, those fraudulent people who are telling you to pray wait on god when they say let us go out and face these criminals and fight them they say my son my son remember Genekuku 35 remember oh, hmm. you remember when caleb wanted to go and kill 
uh, Abubaka in uh, Leviticus 30 and 21, if he, he, if, if he relied on his own power, let God light guide you. Which God light, not touch light, guide you to where? It is to buy time. So when Nigeria can't hit you well, hit you well, you will no longer have strength to fight. You know, if you are a graduate, you just came out of university, right? You, are, you still have that energy. You are angry that Nigeria is not working. Nigeria is not working. What is all this nonsense? Let us, let us protest. Let us face our politician. Then you go to Sunday church. When you get to church on Sunday, they know, you see, they know that some of you don't get job. They are reading the news. They know that uh, some people, their businesses are going to be affected. They are going to lose money. They know. And you know, when you lose your job and you lose money, there is possibility that if you are married, you are going to lose your family too. Your wife may leave you. So somebody will walk into church and say, ah, kabada. I realized that somebody here has been looking for a job. God told me in the seven days crusade, we are going to start next week. If you have faith, you will find a job. Number one, there is no God that's going to give you a job. To get a job, even if you are praying, you still have to apply for a job. Your pastor knows that it is either you have applied for a job or you have not applied for a job. One of the things, you are expecting to get a job, but you are jobless. Then you go to Sunday. If you are here and you are looking for the fruit of the womb, come to the front of the altar. I am not, you see, these are the fraud though. If your pastor has been doing it and you have been following him with faith, eh? I'm not saying your faith should change you, but I am telling you that it is part of the manipulation to distract you from the real problem. You don't have a job, you don't have a job because the economy is bad. They've stolen all the money. There is inflation. The food is the food there is expensive. It's not because you have spiritual problem. It's because farmers have been killed. They can no longer go to farm. So therefore, whatever you see, you have to buy them like that. You don't need prayer for that. You need to stop the terrorists from killing farmers. Start growing food and the food price will crash. But it won't in Nigeria. And your pastor know. But he knows that you are praying for things to change. And he is a businessman. He needs to give you that hope. So instead of you to look for other jobless people that the system has destroyed, eh? All of you will now go and meet up in the crusade. All of you who are looking for boyfriend, how can you have boyfriend? Person will no get job. Somebody who is trying to secure his future, as people always say, is you know, if you see young young people now who are supposed to have uh, possibly passed it through education, I mean, passed through education, be working right now and be preparing to have my, uh, to have families. Eh? Nobody is thinking about family. So you see all these uh, all these factors. They are there. They are not spiritual. Somebody will no get job. You won't make him come marry. Marry to do what? Eh? To feed you with what? Your husband, uh, your husband left you and he ran away to, uh, with another woman. And you think it's spiritual? It's not spiritual. Man is running away from his responsibility. Five children, you, house rent, school fees, see. If the children fall sick, he's going to have to find money. He no get a real job. Another woman there somewhere. Where her, her, her own husband don't run away, eh? But she don't manage, gather small change. She's uh, there, your husband day. Your husband feel like, I feel be your boy, you. I love you. I feel leave my wife. My wife said, now winch. I don't know why I know me can. Now my wife cause her. You have no idea. It is not spiritual. They are all connected. And because all of you are suffering from different things like that, they will talk about it. If I choose to be a man of God now, I can begin to talk about your problems. And guess what? Many, many of you watching my video right now, eh? I will, I will, what I'm going to say will address your problem. The same problem you are facing right now. Out of all the 4,000 people who are currently watching this video on YouTube and Facebook, eh? Out of 4,000. Imagine if I have those, all of you, all of you, 4,000 of you in a room. Do you think it's, it will be difficult for me to know which, which of you are looking for a job? Which of you are looking for children? When you can actually just go and adopt or go and do IVF. But you will, have, you will be in that gathering. Many of you are watching me as you are watching this video right now. You are, you are, they say, you are for long, for more. we are looking unto God for, for the fruit of the womb. Looking unto God. 
But there are some things you have to do to make it happen. And if you won't have a child, you won't have any. Right? Science also shows that you can have your child by any means. Surrogate, you anything. Say you won't have a picking or you won't have them naturally. Of course you can. You can pray and you still have to do some things. But guess what? In that gathering, all of you watching me right now, the people who are going to lose their job in the next one week. If I tell you now that uh, some of you are going to lose your jobs next uh, in the next one week, I want you to pray against loss, uh, job loss. Out of 4,000 people, with a ruined economy in Nigeria, with a ruined Naira, are you telling me that uh, people who are losing job every day, I won't have uh, three or four of them who will watch this video and will say, Pastor, 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 I have a problem, sir. In, at, uh, my, at my place of work, they are about to sack us. And we are we are 21, dear sir. You are very true without your preaching today, sir. Sir, I need your help, sir. I need your prayer, sir. What can you do for me, sir? I say, ah, shout hallelujah. He say, hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah, sir. You are really a man of God. Everything you said in that program today is about my life, sir. What it buy now? What it buy? So at the end of the day, normally you know you are going to lose your job. Automatically, eh? Psychologically. You are going to be looking for another job. You are going to be telling people that, hey, they are likely going to sack us next week. Oh. They are likely going to, they are telling us that they are going to reduce our pay. You see all these kind of things make you think you don't really have to do much. Even when you have capacity to help yourself, you're all these fake men of God, eh? they want you to believe that you don't need that capacity to excel. God can just take you from here to that place. Boom. And then you see, hey, they say, somebody here just received a good news. He's going to go to America. Hey, pastor, it's me. Oh, it's my son. Oh, ah, pastor, for the past 35 years, I have been suffering. Now only me, the taker of my children. I have suffered. I have served God. I have done a lot. But God just seems to abandon me. Then I attended that your seven days crusade. My son, he has been applying for visa, America visa, for the past five years. As I came here, now so he called me from Lagos that they have given him the visa. Five years visa. Praise God. They say, everybody is like, So you see, all of you who are still thinking of traveling out, you see, eh? Oh boy. Oh boy, be like, say, I could get my own visa here. Oh. We can continue the prayer. They say, all of you who are still waiting for your own, oh, yeah, pray. Tell God, my America visa should visit me. You have not applied, though. You are only thinking about uh, traveling now, too. You haven't applied. You haven't found out where you even want to go. But because, ah, you've been thinking, hey, oh boy, this crusade, ah. The person who came to do testimony did not tell you that, yes, they've applied five times. They didn't tell you that they were rejected because of fake documents or document they couldn't defend. Last, last, they finally gave him because he's now used the right documents. And the process was ongoing. In Mama, they go attend a prayer meeting for village, and they can't give a testimony. They say, there is this man of God. There's this man of God in my, in my town. He, is, he doesn't like money. He doesn't like, uh, you know, he's a very, very close man of God. If you go there, he has this thing that if you go there, he will pray for you. They will give you visa. Yusuf Yakini, thank you. I almost missed that, so I want to I want to make sure that uh, I don't miss any of your super sticker, by the way, because some of them comes with a uh, super chat. So we're talking about the manipulation. So in the end, all of you will now have to stick to that place. Then they'll keep telling you that the reason why your own situation is very difficult is say about your your case different. They, see, Satan, Satan gets time to deal with your situation. Now, your, it was because your forefather is because of the sin of your father, of your mother. You see, your mother was a very wicked person. She, my mama, my mama very, if she's very stubborn. She did fight everybody. So, ah, she is not just fighting. My, your mama has changed destiny of so many people, but God now fought for those people. That thing your mama did can't come back on you, but I will change it for you. Baba, nobody, no cause come on you. On a job to distract you, so that today 
when you see them fighting and defending men of God, defending men of God instead of trying to defend God, then you say, but well, God, no, they build us. They say, but I know they talk like that. There's nothing God cannot do. Listen, listen, I understand what you are saying. My ego, I un you don't understand. You don't. If you still feel like that, if you feel offended, that when Bokwari became a vegetable and it was in UK, when the rest of Nigeria were to, supposed to be, uh, you know, you were supposed to be told the truth that Bokwari is now a vegetable, demented money coin. You know what they did? They brought Adeboye to London. And Adeboye came here and he went back to Nigeria and he went to tell his members in 170 countries, according to him, eh, that Buhari is very strong, ill and hearty. In fact, he is recovering. Ha! Baba Deboye. E yon long man of God do. I be man of doggy. I be God of man. Say, no, 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 no. You, you misquoted him. What do you mean I misquoted him? I what stopped him from being honest? And go back to now and say, you see that thing where I see for London? Eh? That thing don't die. But he didn't. He went back to Nigeria and he started talking about God's grace. God can recover, can make you recover. God can just give you new life. Because one time ago, I mean, a long time ago, he drove a car without uh, any fuel in it from Ekiti to Lagos. Until he got to Lagos, he realized that there is no fuel. It was an empty tank. And he realized that it was Holy Ghost who filled the tank with Holy, Holy, Holy oil. People got offended. Hey, you don't know. You don't, if you don't know what you are. You don't know how manipulated, how, how much you have been manipulated. But now, everybody don't they feel the heat to Baba Adeboye that is hearing from God. Baba Adeboye that can tell God to deal with Buhari because some of you believe that he can do that. Some of you believe that your pastors have this power, so much power. They can ask God. <laughs> eh? Like pastors like, man, say that back, back, shut up. Everybody will just fall down. They say, ah, oh boy, power, they were power, they oh. When that man do, yeah, everybody fall down. But the cameraman know they fall down. When everybody fall down, the ushers know they fall down. The cameraman know they fall down. Now you, the Mughus, fall down. Under the anointing of your fake pastor's uh, God. I have seen it. I am, you know, like I told you, I am not afraid of them. And you should not be afraid of them so that you can have time for your real God. You can have time for your God. Pray to God. Be faithful. You know God is just to purify your mind. Your relationship with God is personal. Now only you know what you they ask from God. And I know that you are not going to bed every night asking God to come and build that your small clinic for you. You are not going to bed every night and asking God to become the Megad outside your house when full and terrorists come. When you say Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, and you put Holy Spirit for entrance of the house, you still say you know God, you be Mumu, original Mumu. Because the terrorists will in AK-47. Somebody said Holy Spirit can arrest them. How come we have not seen anybody? In a, if all, the, all of our pastors, all of the Babalawos, all of the Mamalawos, and all of them, all the Afars, all the Mullahs, who can, they say some people, they, they have so much power. They know they see, they know they see sky. They are the people who they do juju for Bokowari. Nobody can touch him. All the blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. So they don't get that Holy Spirit, that spirit to stop terrorists. Because spirit said they run from God. Have you been watching uh, Nigeria Hollywood? If you have been watching Nigeria Hollywood movie, eh, you will see that it is only in Nigeria Nollywood. They call it Nollywood. Nollywood, eh? You will see uh, spirits. Somebody will die. Eh? The spirit will want cross road. It will look left. It will look right before crossing road. So that make a, make, make a no jam spirit. Have you not seen them? If you go to their own video, some ridiculous things. And that is why Eh, my first video tonight. Now that everybody is feeling the heat, when Baba Debo, they say, May everybody, may nobody use Twitter again. If they see you with Twitter, you they commit a crime, and that crime you are committing is called Malami crime. Malamu crime is a crime that uh, if you if they see you use Twitter, Baba Debo, who told all of you that God, uh, fake Pastor Ruga, who told you that uh, people rejoice when the righteous are in power, all of them today. They are now running away from Twitter because they don't want to go to jail. 
Laya Muhammad said, since uh, Baba Adeboye said, and since Baba Adeboye and Redeem, they have used, they have used Twitter. You know what Baba Adeboye posted on Twitter? Baba Adeboye and Redeem. Since they said, if you use Twitter, you will go to jail, Malami jail. Eh? Baba Adeboye said, wait, wait. We are not under the command of Nigeria again. See, Redeem, Redeem Church, they have seceded from Nigeria. Are you with me? Redeem Church is no longer under Nigeria law. Because the new law in Nigeria is Malamu law. Malamu law say, if they tell you, say, no, use something. If you use some, we go arrest you. Laya Muhammad said, now Malamu go tell us the kind of punishment way Pastor Adeboye go get. Maybe they go arrest your Baba Gio, arrest the Holy Spirit, arrest everybody. Nothing go happen. No, they threaten, intimidate anybody. No, where it's not where the, you have a garbage show and the likes of Femi Okonu Adeshino, who are actually pastor. Okonu Adeshino is a pastor. Do you know that? A pastor in Four Square. Uh, with, with the other one, Pastor Ruga is a pastor in Redeemed Church. Remy Werekwe is a pastor in Redeemed Church. Olu Otifnumbu is a patron in Redeemed Church. So don't worry. Baba can't come out. Baba can't speak in tongue. We are not under Nigeria law. This law is against Article 19 of United Nations Charter. Eh? The first time I heard people quote uh, United Nations Charter, they were the Biafrans. Biafrans were those who have been quoting Charter, telling us about fundamental human rights. Fundamental human rights. Our right to be on our own. Our right to decide our fate. But the likes of... Uh, Redeem church, you all of them in Nigeria, they are telling you to pray for Nigeria. Why they take away your right? People have been killed. Now that they are about, they are, they've taken away the right of your church and church members. Baba can say, we know they're under Nigeria. We are now under United Nations Article 19 law. Since then, if you go to Google now, the most searched article, or the most such content online is Article 19. What's in the Article 19? What's in the Article 19? Freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Baba Adeboye was alive. Redeemed Church with their 170 branches in 170 countries. They did not come out to condemn answers. They did not ask their church members who are affected by what the children, I mean, what the youth were demanding for during answers. He did not call them to come out to. They told people to go and pray. Go and pray. Pray to God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Back on the speaking tongue. Says Malamu law. Malamu law. No cover arm. See now, now United Nations law. Redeem the use now. So they can tweet from anywhere. Eh? Everybody. Lo my get breakfast. Are you following me? Uh, body law no need. Thank you. I didn't want to miss your super chat. So I put it on. You did make my heart jolly with this topic tonight. I want with a religious bigot. <laughs> Bless you. So I have, uh, let me see my other uh, brother there. Uh, where is that? So I have uh, Alison right there. Alison, uh, Ali, Alinson Branton. Thank you. Uh, let me see the other one. Sorry, guys. I just have to acknowledge them. I'm sorry if uh, that's uh, an interruption. Somebody sent me a, a message and they said, Mayegun, we won't mind you. Uh, meanwhile, there's one here I've missed. Uh, Ade, I missed your super chat. I'm so sorry, okay? But I'll read your super chat uh, out. I found it here. Please tell them, monarchy and religion are both scams. Launch on me tomorrow. Absolutely enjoying this stream. Ask people to like to help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. So if you're watching me on YouTube, take a minute to go on there now and give me a thumb up, okay? Like this video on YouTube. Share it as well. It works well. And to Lord Michael, I caught yours. One of the leading religious leaders today in the person of Sheikh Gumi is a terrorist negotiator. That's another point. All of them are scam. My people shine your eyes. Mayegun's, uh, Mayegun's, uh, di sorry, Mayegun's diary supporters, they know better. So if you are just joining us, I mean, uh, you will get used to this, okay? This is how we deal with it. So make sure that uh, we we uh, detoxify 
all the toxicity that they've uh, filled us with, all the fraudulent things for the filled us with. Okay, make sure that uh, when you want to think about the, how, I mean, if you want to think about solution, you should make sure that you know the problem very well. And that's what we do on Maya Gunze Diary uh, Politico. Baba can say now under United Nations, then they ah, ah, United Nations care. Okay. Oh boy, under Malamu law, Malamu law, you know, no waiting. Meanwhile, on the other hand, we caught up with this guy. I was telling you about uh, Nollywood earlier, okay? But before I even get to that, I have this, and I think I should share with you. But this may be kind of emotional for you, okay? It is just to tell you that as Nigeria is busy right now, eh, pushing the agenda of shutting down uh, and then punishing those who fail to delete their Twitter on their devices, if you are caught using Twitter, you will be arrested. So, Bokwari's government are preparing to arrest 40 million people. However, because simply because uh, Bokwari's tweet was deleted, when that is going on, when all these are going on, where everybody is discussing whether we should have Twitter or they should not have Twitter, we will go to jail, we will not go to, go to jail. We will go there under Article 19, we will go there under Malamu law. Eh? Watch this video. 200 school children kidnapped in Niger State. They are still in the hands of their kidnappers you might have to get yourself some tissue paper if you are an emotionally uh, tense person this can be a little bit emotionally tense for you watch this video this, this attack is the first attack we receive in tegina this is just this is the first attack so we don't know anything we are innocent our children are innocent one one painful one painful thing is that my sister called me before the last, before the last, before the last discussion with the, with the with the bandits, she was crying. She was crying. She told me she swear to God that the children, they are sick, they cannot walk, they have removed their hijabs, their veil, they unveil them, they remove their shirts, they left them, they left them with only only trousers. They have no shoes, no food. They are giving them kuli kuli. If you know kuli, they are giving them kuli kuli. You know kuli. This is a granite cake. Of That's course, what they I are know. giving them. How do you expect them to? How do you expect them to 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 survive? My own children. They took them to where the unknown place to them, unknown environment. And I heard you talking of uh, they left them in a floor. When you are talking of floor, you are talking of classroom. You are talking of our houses. No, it's not their house. It's not, it's not, they're not in the class. They took them to bush. They're sleeping on the ground. No leaf, no mat. How do you expect them to live like that? <laughs> Alaje, oh my gosh. I sympathize. I feel for you. I feel for you. This is unbearable. All eyes, all eyes are you. on me as the head teacher. All eyes are on me. You see, I have witnessed the, I have witnessed the, 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 the funeral prayer of one of the parents here, very close to, to the school. She died. She has, one, she has only a child. He has, he has one child in the school. When she just come back because she, she was not, she was not, she was not around when the incidents happened. But the phone had to come back. When she came back. They told her that this is what is happening. Before you know, within that 10 to 15, 30 minutes, she fainted. And that is the end of her. She died. That, 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 that was the day before yesterday. One day after the incident happened, another, 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 another parent, woman, died. Because she has two children. She sent one to, 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 to the town. When she asked about the abduction, she died. For, for, from heart, heart attack. As I'm talking to you now, my wife is down. They have to drip her yesterday. She did not cook. She did not eat. My little child that is at home is... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Alachi. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I slept to, to, I slept to Tim on my bed. I'm telling you, I swear to Almighty God, when he woke up in the night, he was calling the name of his elder sister. Baba Yoshiwa that now that when will my sister come back? 
That is what is asking me. I went to see my mom. She's down. Because of my sister there. The government, I will not, I will not Nigerians, I will not Nigerites, that the government cannot intervene into, the, into this issue. This money they are sending to them from the federal government, is it their money? Is it their money? They're supposed to come through. through uh, they're, they're supposed to come through. No sympathy at all. None of the government official even say hi or say sorry to us. Are we animals? We are not. We are Nigerians. We are Nigerians. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm too sad. I don't, I, have a, a, I don't have a word that to say. I don't have. People in the town, come to take it down and see. Ask your, your reporter, Punari. She knows, she, she, has seen, she has gone to the town and see. It's just like Sambisa here. Why I say it's like Sambisa? Many people close their shops. Many people close their houses. They just come back to Islamia compound and stay. They all put eyes on me. Because as the head teacher, they trust me. In an Islamia school where a parent is paying 200 naira, we have orphans here, orphans. We, the management of the Islamia, we, we buy them school uniform, we give them free books. We give them uniform and, and, and books free. But look at, look at what is happening. It is very bad. And I don't know how you feel watching that video. Right? But you know what? The government is not interested in all of that. They are interested in covering the information like this from reaching you. From any of you knowing that things like this are actually happening. People will be asking you, are you sure that all these things are happening? Are you sure? And I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what to say to you. You know? Oh, here's another one. These are men of God who adding voices. So, Chris, uh, so I don't know what you mean by this. 